are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Let's move on. Y'all know y'all love me. Because I love you too. All right. This is a message to the black community. Okay. So we talked about this. I went live the other day. Um, did a reaction video to Dr. Umar. And he got something else to say. And I want to say I respect it. And this go to you, Nicki Minaj. You better make sure that your baby don't be like the daddy. I don't care. Be mad at me. Don't be like Cardi B and want to sue somebody because somebody. That's your question. But look, don't be like Cardi B. But I just want you to protect your kids because it is about examples, about tones, about what you show them. Please save our babies. But this is what Umar got to say about us and the black men in our community. Can I be mad at him? Nope. Criminals in your household. You are breeding criminals in your household. Yes, the you black are. household is not teaching discipline. Oh, the God. black household oh, is teaching worship of money and materialism. Thank you. I said the black household is teaching worship of money and materialism to black children. So let me ask you a question. If you are teaching our children to worship Ed Jordans, and worship Gucci, and worship Balenciaga, and worship all these European designer companies that don't give one damn about what's happening in Patterson, New Jersey. If you teach them to worship expensive clothes and merchandise, but you're not training them up with discipline, do you know what you're doing? You are breeding criminals in your household. Thank you. You are breeding criminals in your household. You are breeding criminals in your household. To tell me I got to have Nike to be somebody. To tell me I got to have Balenciaga to be somebody. To tell me I got to have Gucci and Louis Vuitton to be somebody. And then you turn around and you don't train me on how to be a responsible, disciplined young man or woman, how am I going to get that Gucci? How am I going to get that Nike? How am I going to get that Balenciaga? And I respect that. Be motherfucking offended, black community, because you know you're doing it. You know you're doing it. Very materialistic. And I'm not talking about anybody else, nation, because I ain't got, I ain't come okay. Do, do what you do. But this is about us. And he's not lying. You can't raise a child to be materialistic and don't give them. I don't, I one, you can, that is not of God, but do what you need to do. Two, you don't give them the means or the tools to actually be able to get the money that they need to get these things. So then you have kids using other means to get this fast money, especially since you have the internet literally luring them to whatever directions that they hit the like button. So, Dr. Umar, you get another point right here. Tell him, be offended, because that's what we do. Shout out to Dr. Umar. You know what he do. You know what he do. Tell the black community this shit they know what he do. You are breeding criminals. He said it, and I support it. Now, let's get into this, okay? Oh, yes. I will be the only one that will actually share this. And I'm going to have to share this in the middle of my broadcast. So they may not catch it, but you're going to catch it today. You're going to catch this work. Now, one of my favorite, favorite people in the whole damn world that everybody hates, just like everybody hates Tasha. Everybody hates this guy. They won't even say his name. That's how much they don't like him. Mr. Ron Dalton. Mr. Ron Dalton. Yes, I'm whispering because I don't want the algorithm, but I'm going to say it. Do you see this name right here? 
Do you see it? Don't you forget it. Go to the Instagram page, H2N. You see it? Y'all go to the screen. Go subscribe to this man. This is the only place where he ain't been banned totally yet. He's been banned off of YouTube. He's been banned off of uh, Facebook. He's been banned off of Clubhouse. He made a whole list of all the things that he was banned. And y'all need to think about that. Literally wrote a book. Literally wrote a book that's about bloodlines. About the Bible. Just breaking some shit down. You know, genealogy. Geographical information. Just some corny stuff. And if it's so corny and it doesn't mean anything, my question is, what is the what is the problem? So he made this post. We should know that now what the NBA doesn't care about and what the NBA does, the massive media and the care about. They care about the massive. Find out that Negroes are the true Israelites of the Bible. They will punish everyone severely if they try to push this talk or narrative. I'm already censored, so I don't give a damn. I know God. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not censored. You know what, what it is? God is going to push us through when he's ready because the revolution will not be televised. And there's only going to be a few of you guys that's ready for this shit anyway. A lot of you guys going to be stuck because y'all ass is not paying attention. That's why some of y'all gravitate into uncensored enlightenment talk. Because I'm meeting y'all in the middle with the gossip, but I'm bringing the real. The real commentary behind it, because the shit is unacceptable half the damn time, the shit your people are doing. Okay? So let's get back to my uncle, my favorite man in the whole world. Okay? Okay, so let's, what are you saying? Finding out that the Negroes are the true Israelites of the Bible. They will punish anyone severely if they try to push this talk or narrative, especially if they have millions of followers on their social media page, the mm, will ask you to explain what you said about their people so they can make you redact what you um, retract, what your brain mouth said and then apologize for it. The mm, will force anybody and all black celebrities to apologize, which they have done with a hundred percent apology success rate he to negroes hebrew to negroes hebrews to negroes i have to sing it so the algorithm don't pick it up black filmmakers producers ron dalton ron dalton i gotta say so it won't pick it up yep i'm gonna say it that's his name y'all better look it up Okay, let me finish reading because I got to make it slow because he don't get a lot of publicity. Won't apologize. That man won't apologize. No top. Well known. Mm, mm, will dare to debate Mr. Dalton. No mass media outlet will interview Mr. Dalton. No one wants to say the name of Mr. Dalton's book, film, live on air. In fear of the mm, the un wanted to make an example of Kyrie Irving, not Ja Morton. Morant, that's Ja Morant. So this is who he's talking about. He said they'll make an example out of Kyrie Irving, but not Ja Morant. Okay. Now we're gonna see what he's talking about because a lot allegedly this 17-year-old boy did some bullshit. Okay. So the first thing the un fear is getting out in America, South Africa. In the world is the awareness of the movie, the book entitled H to N. Hebrew, Hebrews to Negroes. Yeah. This is a major news, in my opinion, to the sleeping gold global citizens of the earth. It's nothing. Y'all don't even care what I'm saying anyway. And the only reason why I'm singing it is because the algorithm is going to fucking plop. Wow, cow, smack me for even talking about this man. But that's my uncle and I love him. Black America may maybe should start rising up now to determine answers. But the appropriate organizations and people on blast. Put them on blast. Okay. Or maybe we are too scared as black folks to rise and cause ruckus. Okay. Um, yeah, so let me just put this in the damn comments. This was six days ago. If y'all want to know where to find my brother, I know y'all don't like it, but I don't care. 
God's going to get us through. We ain't scared no more. We got the Holy Spirit in us, and the Holy Spirit is bust ass. Excuse my language. We're over it. I don't know what you think you're going to do, but we over this. So if you want to figure out who I'm talking about and actually read the whole thing yourself, it'll be great. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Yeah, we over it. And this book will tell you a lot about who you are as too. It is what it is. So find out why Kyrie Irving got in trouble. But let's go into his post because nobody shares his stuff. So Jay Morris showed a gun on live two times, beat up a 17-year-old and didn't get cut from Nike. Kyrie posted a link and immediately got cut from Nike. I need answers. I don't need answers. I already know what the hell is going on. So this is what he did. This is what the 17-year-old did. And this is what he did. He posted this video. See that? Okay. Watch it. LeBron James on Kyrie Irving, he apologized, but he caused no harm. LeBron James even said that. It's so um, socially oh, Let's see what he said. Just, um, I'm not sure. Um, if you want to ask me a question, you can ask me. I can't speak for 449 players. Sure. Um, you know, certainly your position, you've been in it. In the position of the best to speak for the, yeah. for the um, league. I I just, yeah, 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 I can tell you this. Uh, it's simple. Um, me personally, I don't condone any hate um, to any kind, to any race, um, to Jewish communities, to black communities, to Asian communities. Um, you guys know where I stand. And um, it's part of the reason why I didn't air the shop episode, why we kicked that, you know, out of the archives, because it was hate conversation going on there um and i don't represent that um you know uh, there's no place in but you ain't never say he didn't cause no harm though i ain't never hear him say that i wanted to hear that that's why i played i said did he say that because i hear that he tucked told around that shit too tiptoeing ass shucking and jiving he should have just started with this the thing and stuck to it I don't, I'm not in that man's brain. I have nothing to do with what he has done. Could you just direct the questions that got something to do with me? Please don't put me involved in it. If that's what you want to say. But all that shucking and jiving, take a whole glass and shut up. Yeah. He coming in hot. Now we see why, guys. Mm -hmm. But who is this guy? Who is this guy? LeBron holding his hand. Oh. Let's find out. I hope y'all know what that is on his chest. That is like the things. That is one of those Kappa Phi Alpha things. One of those sorority type tattoos. And you know, he has it big on his chest. You know, sold your soul. You know, sold your soul to the Greek gods, allegedly. You know, y'all heard about the boule? This represents the boule, allegedly. If y'all know what the boule is, please look on the uncensored page. I think I still got that video up there. If y'all don't, I'll read. I actually upload that because I'm going to start uploading little documentaries on Rumble, creating a little, a little another section. It's going to blow y'all damn mind. Y'all going to be feeling some type of way, but it's going to be the truth. The truth shall set you free because, you know, we love each other. But, yeah, look at this guy. Sold his soul. Let's move forward. I didn't say anything about who was in charge of it. I did say that um, that the trade transatlantic slave trade was a business and it was more so for money, uh, but I did not discuss on who was a part of that whole business. I was speaking only about the Judeans being taken from Africa into into the Americas. Yes, and you're right. and, and, so and, I, so and my, I understand so that, but it was part of the Kyrie my, discussion, though, right? Is is part of that? Discussion. I don't know. Andrew, we're talking about Andrew, a documentary, Andrew. but my, my my whole concern is that how you and the lady can take my words and then try yep. to flip those around and associate me with the Kyrie statement. I, I, I openly spoke to you and said publicly about how I feel about Kyrie and what he did and what the documentary consists of. Oh, I also old. spoke about that on the chat that you witnessed. And then we talked about the slave, the translated slave trade, how the Judeans are, were taken from Africa into the Americas. So I don't understand how you and your lady friend can get that misconstrued. So she and I might to, no, I was not along with her and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm in this Listen to what he said, y'all. 
Okay, I can play it back because I ain't about to be getting in trouble, but he be dropping gems. That's why he don't want to play them. Here we go. Read this. He will not apologize. Me either. Let's go. Hit me. And you know what? Let's see. 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 You ain't talking well, about no history. The Kanye thing kind of spilled into the Kyrie Irving thing mm. when he had posted a link to. No, we're not about to that. Sorry for the hurt. Hold on. This is my husband, y'all. Kyrie Irving. This one, I caught a crush on him. I'm going to be honest. I got to I got, I got to let you know that I got a crush on you. I do. I got a crush on him because he's like a beacon of light. I love Kyrie. Let's go. Look at my boot. I take my responsibility for posting that. Some things that were questionable in there, untrue. What was untrue? Like I said, in the first time you guys asked me when I was sitting on that stage, I don't believe everything that everybody posts. It's a documentary. Mm -hmm, so I take my responsibility. It seems like Adam Silver wanted to hear the word, I apologize, or in your mind, you said I didn't mean to cause any harm. Were you apologizing or were you not apologizing? I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. <laughs> I didn't do it. What are you talking about? I think uh, some of the criticism of the Jewish faith in the community, for sure. Some points made in there that were... Uh, Unfortunate. Kyrie, are you surprised that you did hurt people? If you hurt people, uh, fucking kids. Nobody want to be no. Y'all some kids that you hurt people. Grow the fuck up, y'all. Y'all people literally. What happened to the black slaves? We were demolished. I don't play with me. And your feelings hurt. That's why I got it in my gut. I'm sorry, it came from my gut. Calm down. Because y'all be acting like the shit people go through. Say, y'all ain't even gone. He said, you hurt my feelings. The shit y'all do, the whole system hurt the black people feelings. The fuck? The fuck? Ooh, let's move on. Look at my husband. Let me just look at me, Kyrie, so I can calm down. You the man that'll look at me like, and I'm like, okay. I'm a woosa, because that's my boo. This, oh, God. Let's see what this and is. things in there that you didn't like. Listen, oh, <clears throat> he gonna have to tell the truth. But there are many things that you all have written about us that we don't like. Get to it. You have been the one making us hate who we are and hate our origin in the world. Thank you. You are the one that made Tarzan and told us that that's uh, part of us. You've done all of this to us. And we couldn't say nothing. We can't tell you nothing. Can't you are the it. one that made a darkie, a little black sambo. And you made us to see that as who we are. Thank you. For years. In years. Can't you see that we're tired? Can't you see that you need to repent and you're gonna go to hell because you in the Bible? And if y'all asses don't repent, you're going down. Go ahead and thinking I'm telling y'all know them damn gatekeepers on YouTube. I don't care. You keep me at two views. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk like I talk and walk like I walk because God's gonna put me in front of the right audience. Like Rumble and Big Chew. I fucks with them, okay? Because they are free. They free people. They like they like to say what they want to say. You know, they got their belief. But I think when we have those conversations and they finally see a black person like me, they be like, well, I like her. I thought I was racist, but I like her. I be like, I like you too. You found God, didn't you? That's why I fuck with Big Chew and Rumble. Because when I want to get into stuff like this, but you two be getting on my damn nerves. Moving forward, last part. Look what they blocked me on Facebook for. They said it was sexually inadequate. It was sexual content and whatnot. But watch what they blocked me on Facebook for. Hold up. They don't pick and choose. Tell me, sir, tell me if you can see it because I got to. Don't be mad at me, Facebook. He said it. So I go. He about to show it. Can you look? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? 
Well, it's a little blurry. It is. I don't want to see it. I do want to see it, but I can't see it. Anyway, so shout out to Mr. Dalton. Mr. Dalton. Mr. Dalton. Y'all don't know who he is because nobody want to say his name. But I will because I ain't scared. I, I ain't never scared. Mr. Ron Dalton. Ron Dalton. If you like it, if you don't, I don't give a damn. That's my that's my own, my soul uncle. Yeah, he's not really related to me, but I claimed his ass. He don't know. He my friend. I love him. Anybody who's gonna tell the truth, and if that book is not only about black people, it's actually about the Bible. It's actually about the actual geographic location of people being transported all over. It's talk about a little bit of you guys too. I tell y'all, read the Bible, the first part, y'all. The Europeans, all types of people will figure out who y'all are, but they don't want you to do that. That's why I tell him to take a whole glass and shut up. So now.